Hey there, everybody, Arlos here from Ice Games, bringing you some more Final Fantasy XIV today. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited for this one because it seems like we're going to be finishing, well, getting into um, uh, patch 5.55, uh, which will be the end of the uh, the Stormbringer series and uh, the kind of leading raid right into Endwalker. So I'm really, really excited for this. Hey there, Revan. Hey there, Drezor. Very very excited for for today i'll actually be in in the same e expansion area as the current expansion for for a few months i think for a few months I mean, we're, we're we're almost in april so like april may june uh july 2nd is don tarl okay so i get april may and june i'll be i'll be in the regular expansion for three months <laughs> i didn't realize they put an actual date on it now revan that's awesome I'm um, very, very excited for, uh, for, for, for that, uh, Don, Don, excited for Don Trail, excited to get into Endwalker, uh, you guys have hyped up Endwalker quite a bit, so I'm very excited for that, uh, oh, hey there, Welder, how's it going? Yeah, hopefully you guys are having an awesome and or amazing day today, hopefully both, just announced today, oh, okay, good to know, I haven't seen that announcement, so very excited, so, uh, Dawn Trail will be coming out July 2nd, uh, so, yeah, excited for that. Uh, you also posted a story, story summary of Save the Queen questline in the Final Fantasy XIV General. Okay, yeah, I, I, I did a little read over the, um, uh, 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 I'm sorry, sorry, reading, watching and stuff like that, but yeah, excited for, for what's happening uh, with all that stuff, so it's been pretty good. Been a busy morning there, Welder. Good. Busy busy can be very good. It is, it is Saturday. Sometimes Saturdays can be very busy. And sometimes not. Um, But just to let you guys know, uh, things might be changing. This th Things are changing for me um, uh, work-wise. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. I'm, things are kind of a little bit... Um, up in the air uh so i'm not sure th where how streaming is going to work in in the future and how it's uh how i'm going to do it it might end up being like either uh shorter streams more often uh or it might be like a longer stream uh once a week kind of a thing for final fantasy i'm not sure exactly what uh, is going to be happening with it and it might, the, the times will definitely be changing um but uh yeah i'm excited to kind of figure out what's going on with that but that's something i will when i actually have hard exactly what's happening i'll let you guys know so yeah uh pre-order for um dawn trail opens on the 26th there to call also hate to call they announced a collector's edition as well Ooh, i actually want to before i get started in this i want to see what that looks like it's probably going to sell out in like three seconds but If, uh, if that's my guess. Okay. Let's see. It comes with a statue. Wait, is that? Is that what it, it comes with a mount? Um. Is that, is that actually what it comes with? Oh, there's a he the oh okay, so it comes with um is that the the viper it looks like with the two swords? Uh it comes with a physical map and a book. Oh my gosh. Um uh uh look up the physical collector's edition, I haven't been able to grab one since Heaven's Ward. Okay. Oh good luck. The physical Oh you haven't been able to oh, so they do one every time and you just haven't been able to grab one. So hopefully you're able to get this one if that's what you're wanting. Oh my gosh, Stormbloods looked awesome. Oh, Stormbloods would have been so cool with a giant Xenos uh, standee. Ooh, I definitely, definitely want this. The Viper standee, that's really cool. Um, also, is that wind up uh, Garnet minion? I I want I want that. I uh. I want that. Um, oh, you met your brother and sister a lot for breakfast. Uh, and then me and him went and did some range therapy. Oh, the family friend who owns a gun range. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
yeah, sometimes that could be that could be fun. Uh, nice, uh, nice and relaxing sometimes. Gotten yourself used to the digital collectors. If uh, sorry, in the digital collectors, it looks like it comes with the arc mount, which looks crazy. The wind up garnet minion, which is dagger from Final Fantasy IX, which that has me super excited. Uh, and a chocobo brush. Is that what it comes with? Because that's kind of cool. Even that's kind of cool. I'm okay with that. But having a wind up Final Fantasy IX character gets me more excited because Final Fantasy IX's <sighs> probably my favorite Final Fantasy. I know, I know, but it's my favorite right now. I've always loved that one. Um, yeah. Oh, physical collectors. Uh, yeah, physical collectors give the same items, except for the real life ones, of course. Uh, yeah, the Arc Mountain was a summon for Final Fantasy IX. So is that is that kind of the theme for Dawn Trails going to be Final Fantasy IX ish? So I guess for Final Fantasy VII, we've had um, the the armor set. For Final Fantasy VIII, we had an armor set. Final Fantasy X, I don't know if we really had much. For Final Fantasy IX, we've had. Final Fantasy 12 kind of storyline-ish, and we've had characters from Final Fantasy like uh, 6 and other other Final Fantasies. Not much with 9, so very excited for that. Want to get a second look at the FC house? You did a little bit of decorating. Awesome. Yeah, let's go do that. Uh, where, oh, what am I doing here? Teleport. So, Viper is inspired by Zidane. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited for that. Ooh. That'd be kind of cool if you could actually use this. I gotta do the chocobo thing, too. Do, 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 do. I gotta do some decorating in my room and stuff in here. Oh, we got a table and everything! Oh, wait, the lunches and stuff have, like, you can only use them X amount of time, so it actually... Oh, it actually gives you a bonus, that's why. Oh, that's cool. Man, Screen Inks make some of the best-looking food in, in video games. Like, Final Fantasy... 15? Yeah, 15. Man, the food in that game looks so good. So good. Ooh. Nice little display here. That uh, looks really cool. Oh man, the artwork is really awesome. This little vase and stuff. Oh, some posters and a clock. <laughs> it's Ildebrand. Oh, it's so awesome. I guess it makes sense for an Ishgard to put up these these posters here of Estonian uh, and uh, Lord um, the Lord the guy there. Yeah. I like the table set too. We've got ourselves a little kitchen area. The jukebox? The, ju the orchestra box? Oh, even little teas and stuff. Yeah, and I love how you get... you get. What is this? Oh, you can display or remove flowers. Okay. Maid servant. I cannot cook things. I cannot do that. You guys, yeah, purchase items. Okay. Materia supplier. Okay. A material supplier. Materia mender. Cool. Oh, to call. This looks awesome. This this looks amazing. Oh my gosh, this does look so cool. And then and then you go to. Uh, my room and it's it's really boring what does this give you four skill speed 
vitality bonus, gear, durability, experience bonus, and duration. Okay. Oh, but we do have the the, the, the androids. Can I get some posters up? No bed or anything. I just sleep on the floor. <laughs> Oh, it's a call. Thank you so much for doing that. It looks so cool. Uh, if you need anything from me, uh, let me know. I don't know what I can give, but I don't know how giving items to use for display purposes uh, helps at all or how that works. Let me know. I can do that. But yeah, it looks so cool. I do the chocobo thing. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do that, and this would be where you'd um, plant seeds and stuff like that there. Nice little bonfire here. Uh, go to the spare cash. Go to the board and buy a Moogle box. Uh, you mean? Where is there one here? There's the market board here. Oh, there's a market board there. All right. Um, kind of curious on so the market boards. What we're looking for. Let's do this. And we need a uh, it's a market box. In the market our mailbox outdoor furnishing. Okay. Uh, Google post box. Did I not spell that right? Moogle letter is that what you mean the Moogle letterbox? One for estate only can be used on island structures. Oh, they got like interior walls and stuff like that. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh, they're only sixty thousand. Three thousand fee included? Oh my gosh! All right, and then that goes to my inventory. And I remember how to. Taxes, man. Yep. One thing we know about death and taxes. All right, what do I do to... I don't remember how to edit things now. Go to the housing menu. Housing, there we go. Outdoor furnishings. place I'll just put it right there for now and if you guys if you want to move it somewhere else uh let me know but we'll put it there for now anything else we can do okay there we go little moogle box here All right. Looks good there. Yeah, nice and easier the front there. <laughs> oh, again, to call. Thank you so much for 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 kind of setting this up and everything here. I am very excited for that. Oh, hey there, Razor. Like to party. Pop it up. Oh yeah, you can kind of. You can search in game. Yeah, and it makes it so much easier to uh well, you can just walk into someone's yard. Ooh. Choco was on fire. Uh, <laughs> anyways, okay. Uh yeah, so I can just if I need to do things, I can just hop to the makes it convenient. You can just teleport right to the FC instead of um uh, the house instead of having to go somewhere else. So and kind of have everything kind of all in one place. I like that. I like that so much.
<laughs> I actually just got an alert on my phone telling me that uh, the Dawn Trail announcement was made. It's still a weird, weird. I, I still in my head, I'm like, it should be Dawn Trail. It should be Dawn Trial, but it's Dawn Trail, Dawn Trail, Dawn Trail. Oh, my brain. My brain does not work sometimes. All right, so let's get into the end of Stormbringers. Very excited for this. Um, very excited. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. Alice, let's get started. So Alice, can tell you are itching to take uh, the fight to the Telephori. I am. Let's do this. Kind of excited to see where the story is going to be going. Ah, oh, Luna, you're looking well. I take it you managed to squeeze in some rest. Uh, if you can, uh, if you can come hopping, uh, hoping for tidings uh, from Kral. If you came hopping, hoping, um, Kral, I'm afraid we're still waiting, but we do have some odd scraps of news to share. Okay. Scraps, she says. Lunar rivals have been popping up all over the place. The Alliance has the situation well in hand, thanks in no small part to Hore, Boulder, and the others. Meanwhile, talks with the Beast Tribes are going even better than expected. Encouraged by Uldah's progress with the Almaja, Grindania has opened negotiations with Negotiation with the Ixel, believe it or not. Oh, that's awesome. All of which was obviously very encouraging. But with the Telephori, Telephori, I'm still out there. Uh, it's, it's not as if we can afford to lower our guard. Okay, let's uh go defeat these things. Your brain 404 is so much. Yep, very true. Uh Oh. Oh, uh, sorry, the Welder fan, you have said he's got a full auto license. But there's able to shoot full auto uh, for nearly free. We get the friends and family discount on prices. That's nice. Friends and family discounts are good for everything. <laughs> so begging your pardon, but I can I come bearing an invitation from the Alliance. The council meeting is due to be held in Alamigo, and your attendance is humbly requested. Ah, we were just uh, talking about the Alliance. May I ask uh, what's on the agenda? I believe the intention is to share news of recent developments and discuss what measure might be taken to combat the Telephori uh, in concert with our new allies. The Beast Tribes have also been invited. It is uh, hoped that they will join us in the fight against our common foe. So the Alliance would bring all the Beast Tribes into the, fold, uh, into the fold at a single stroke. An ambitious plan given the delicacy of the negotiations, but mayhap an expedient one considering the threat we face. Indeed, my lady. And for their part, I'm told the Beast Tribes have agreed to attend. If the Scions, too, are present, all of Eorzea will be represented. This sounds like the best place for an ambush. Or for an assault on it. This this could be bad. To range. Uh, such a meeting must have been quite an undertaking, not only the diplomatically, but practically. Pray inform the Alliance we will be honored to participate. Uh, we shall make for Alamigo without delay. Uh, hey, Patrick. So then I will bear your answer thither with all haste. We look forward to receiving you at the Royal Palace. All right, this, they, yeah, definitely. Uh, Dan Fandango has already showed that he knows where this place is and that he can get there with a primal. So, yeah, could be bad. So, well, now uh, we accept the invitation. What exactly, or who exactly is going to attend? I, I knew that you and your Stola lead our contingent. Given how uh, long you've worked uh, to end summoning, it's only right that you be present for what promises to be a historic moment. Why don't we all go? I think we've all played our part in that little endeavor. Don't you, Lunith? Did I call it fan the end? <laughs> I did. Oh, Dan. Yeah. Yeah, I did. We'll pretend that never happened uh, to call. We'll pretend that, sh that never happened. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so all present may rightly claim a seat. Uh, I do quite agree, but by your leave, I believe I shall remain here and lead the assistance I can uh, to the coordination of our defensive efforts. So he's just fin uh, grim fan uh, 
Fandango now? Yes. That's such a good game, so how can it not be that? I just assume that that's what Asians are like when they're not in their regular state, is, uh, is, uh, is that game. Uh, so I'm not coming either. Uh, Amber will be there, and I'd rather not be interrogated. Very well, then. Uh, while those... While those who mind uh, to hold the fort get on with holding it, I suggest the rest of us make for Alamigo. Shall we? Yeah, because it's Dan Fandango, right? Just, again, such a weird name. <laughs> they sent a picture of our Reaper. Yep, that there you go. One oh, is that actually the 1.0 Asians? Wait, that's actually what they look like in 1.0. See, I'm not far off. Maybe, see, there you go. <laughs> I'm not far off at all. There, call. I honestly did not realize Asians were in the first game at all. Oh, sorry, not the first game. 1.0. Oh. That's hilarious. All right. Back to the resistance guard. We've been expecting you. Well, some... You guests have yet to arrive. The Alliance leaders are all present. Shall I show you in? Uh, and yeah, well, they're definitely the best place for an ambush or an assault on all the leaders. Ooh, the Beast Tribes are here. Yeah. Even the awesome Snake Ladies. I can't remember their race's name right now, but they're pretty awesome. Oh, that's the model they use when they fuse together. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the Asian Prime. Oh, all of our Beast Tribe friends. Sorry we killed so many of your, your friends. Man, we've slaughtered Esteemed hundreds of guests, them. guests, you honor us with your presence. As there is much to discuss, let us begin. Information on our taken brethren you have, yes? Hear it, we would! Beyond forgiveness, these featherless ones are! With rivers of blood shall they pay! Freed our people must be! We too would see your kin liberated. But ere we attempt their rescue, we must first find a means to negate the risk of tempering. Without that, we will be unable even to approach the towers, let alone contend with their defenders. If all else fails, I've always found cannonballs quite effective. <laughs> <sighs> and what of the prisoners? Would you see them slaughtered? Think for a moment. Ponder, consider, think. If Merlwib truly intended to bombard the towers, she would have done so by now. Remember, we came here to find a solution together, did we not? Yistola spoke of defenders. I but offered a means to clear a path, should you require it. Given the enemy's capabilities, we will all need to play our part if we are to have any chance of success. For if any here should give less than their best, it will be to the cost of every living being on this star. A paragon, the Empire. 
Our very gods? How can we hope to prevail against such odds? That our foe is formidable, none would deny. But our strengths are many and varied. In this chamber, I see masters of strategy, masters of magic, masters of the land, the air, and the sea. And together, there is nothing in creation we cannot overcome. How come the Beast Tribe leaders don't get chairs? I'm gonna throw it out there. Why, why don't they get some places to sit? But yes, all of our friends are here. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> Her expression is priceless. What is it, Sir Walker? Do not express your passion thus. A little fritty will have deals, perhaps. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I am proud to be counted amongst their Aussie's finest. <laughs> We, the Hagen, will play our part. <laughs> budget, yeah, budget. Makes it. They're just doing idle animations. We kobolds have not forgotten the crimes the Overdwellers committed against us in the past. But today we look to the future as allies united in purpose. Make mock of the Ixel the Paragon does. Turns kin into puppets. Pits brother against brother. Free them from his grasp, we shall. As Patriarch Zadar will attest, the Scions have granted us a means to free your brethren from their thraldom. This boon we will gladly share, that your people might never be enslaved again. We accept! We accept! Praise me! Maybe not sit for her, but she could, like, coil up on a nice, like, pillow or something like that. Or they could make some chairs. They should just make a unique chair for each of the races. That'd be kind of cool. It's taken a while, but I do believe we might be one step closer to a world without primals. Would that mean Philia were here to see it? Isn't she technically kind of like one with a primal We still now? have a long way to go, and we're going to need a lot more porksies. But we're moving in the right direction. If I may have your attention, there is one other point I would like to raise. As we can all agree, freeing those held captive must take precedence over every other concern. But experience has taught us that none save those with the capacity to resist tempering can hope to enter the towers unscathed. And even once inside, a still greater threat may yet await them, that which we call a primal. Needless to say, if we are to succeed, engaging with such foes can only ever be considered a last resort. And so I move that we seek to prevent them from being summoned in the first place. Yes! Both prayer and ether are needed for the ritual. Should either one be denied, the summoning would fail. Indeed. And so we must endeavor to discover the source of the ether on which the process depends. Do so, and it may present a way to halt the summonings, or perhaps even neutralize the towers entirely. A promising proposal. While you are conducting your investigations, however, we will need to remain vigilant, lest the Talophoroi commit further abductions and summon primals ere we have the means to prevent them. To stand a better chance of keeping our enemy at bay, we would do well to coordinate our defensive efforts, sending reinforcements to assist our neighbors when needed. 
We, Amalja, would have been overwhelmed were it not for our newfound allies. But say the word, and we shall come. I see we are all in accord. But what are we to call this proud fellowship of ours? I submit that the honor of naming it should go to the Scion whose brave efforts have done so much to unite Eorzea. What say you, my friend? Me? No pressure. Okay, um, what? I'm guessing it's gonna be called the Grand Company of Eorzea. I would call it... One moment, please. Uh, I'm gonna do that one. I just wanna see, because someone's gonna step in and say the Grand Company of Eorzea, right? Okay, so I would call it... One moment, please. I gotta think about this. Might I suggest the yeah. Grand Company of Eorzea? I remember a certain someone pondering it once upon a time, and it seems as fitting a name as any. A fine choice, for there is none here who does not love Eosia. Aye, in that we shall ever be united. United in our gratitude for the realm that gave us life. Then let it be recorded that on this day, the Grand Company of Eorzea was born. How long have we dreamed of this moment? And now that it's here, I... Oh, forgive me. Might we speak outside? How many makes makes friends there, Tracer? That's kind of how the world works. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, now that we are out of earshot of the delic other delegates, I hope you would forgive me if I speak my mind. Let me begin by saying that I have dreamed of this day since the moment I first set put upon, foot upon these shores, and that I was heartened as everyone to see the people of Eorzea pledge their solidarity. Yet even as they uttered their declarations, all I could think about was the conflict to come, of the sacrifices that would be made, of the lives lost, inevitabilities or that I still struggle to accept. But at least now there is hope. The formation of the Grand Company of Eorzea is the first step, the first of many. Many and more. Oh, hi. Elder Seedseer, uh, how might we be of service? I seek Master Alphano's assistance in a matter involving Grandaria's neighbors, the Sylphs. Uh oh. I know that you and yours have long kept a weather eye upon the crystal trade, and the better to predict the coming of primals, and so you'll be familiar with the sylphs of the Ash Crown Custodium. Through their dealings, they have cultivated relations with not uh, not only with the city-states, but many of the communities besides, other communities besides. Yeah. Communities such as the Breeze Tribes? Just so, it is our hope that we may make use of the Sylph's established lines of communication to coordinate the efforts of our new friendship. Yet, there remain certain practical differences between trade, a trade custodium and a grand company, but the Sylphs are to perform their task effectively. They will require the council of one verse in the operational aspects of an armed force. An armed force? Founded on the self-same goal in mind, no less?
Crystal Braves. Yes, forgive me, Master Alphano. I know that it was a painful chapter in your life, but the experience may yet uh, may yet be to serve uh, the realm. In my hubris, I plotted a course for the Crystal Braves, which stretched far beyond the Order's initial conception. Uh, one intended to pave the way for a founding of what uh, I intended to call the Grand Company of Eorzea. But my plans all came for naught. Built upon a frail foundation of lofty ideals, the Order was doomed from the first collapse. Uh, under the weight of more worldly interest. And I have no wish to see this new endeavor suffer the same fate. Mayhap I ask too much of you. Not at all. We count upon my assistance for the, what little it is worth. By your leave, I shall prepare a report, including a list of recommendations drawing on the lessons I learned uh, from the failures of the Crystal Braves. Good. You have my gratitude, Master Alphano, and my trust. When your report is ready, pray share it directly to the Sylphs. With your guidance and the earnest efforts of every goodly soul gathered here this day, I have no doubt that our fellowship shall emerge from the shadow of the Telephori and flourish. Until next we meet, my friends. Before committing to anything in, uh, to writing, there are a number of people whose thoughts I should like to hear. Former Braves, you understand. Might you join me in seeking them out? Uh, of course. I can't think of an excuse not to. So, yes? Well, I shall be grateful for your help, grudging or not. <laughs> I love it. All right, so I'll join you uh, if you're planning to canvas the uh, opinions of your former comrades. Uh, it will be quicker if we share uh, the task of questioning them. And mayhap uh, Graha could lend a hand as well. I shall accompany Thancred back to the Rising Stone. Between us, I dare say we should be able to provide an accurate uh, enough account of the day's events. Okay. We should be glad of the company, Graha. I should explain the details on the way. All right, so let's talk with Alice here. Uh, so what's the, pl the plan, brother mine? Before discussing the task at hand, I should probably admit that the report I propose is largely written. Not long after the fateful day in Ulda, I penned a detailed account of the organization's history, from the events that led to its inception to the failings that brought about its demise. Uh, I, this I did primarily as a means of taking some semblance in the, of responsibility. Never did I imagine that it might later be referred to by those seeking this, to form a similar organization. And well, I may have attempted... And while I made every attempt to be objective, the account was mine alone. Its events are viewed from my singular perspective. Uh, for it be of use, however, it must be broadened and en encompassed uh, the viewpoint of all involved. Uh, only they can answer what seems to, uh, what seems to me to be the crucial question, namely, why, after the Crystal Braves disbanded, did some members choose to remain with us while others did not? I see. I think the answer will tell us something about the nature of the that ties uh, that uh, the ties that bind our new grand company together. And this knowledge might help us to prevent it from falling apart when those bonds are inevitably tested. That is my hope, yes. But the question I would ask uh, are uncomfortable to some. As a former commander of the Crystal Waves, I doubt uh, that those who abandoned the cause would welcome my inquiries. Then Gra Graha uh, would, uh, and I would be, uh, what, 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 Graha and I will just have to try. Meanwhile, the two of you can talk to the ones who kept the faith. A fine suggestion. Uh, have care, however. Certain of my former comrades are of questionable character. So keep your wits about you, and let us reconvene in Grandania later on. Okay, so let's go find these people. If you have no objections, I have a mind to begin speaking with uh, Riol and Alane, uh, if memory serves, the two of them will be attending an intelligence briefing in the Custodium Orans. Let us seek them out there. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
I'm also really curious. They've they've built a whole expansion where we went to essentially a different world. I wonder if uh, if that'll come back in the story eventually. Very curious about that. Oh, coffee. Um, look at the real here. Well, look who it is. Uh, and what brings you two here? Wouldn't have anything to do with that big meeting, would it? In a manner of speaking, I have been assigned a task, you see, for which I require the assistance of former members of the Crystal Braves. Do, 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 do. So, you want to know why we decided to stick with the Scions, eh? Hmm. Uh, ain't an easy thing to put words uh, into words, that. Um, there have been hints in the story that further shard hopping might be a thing in future expansions. Okay, and I assume that might be a. Uh, I, I assume eventually we'll we'll go to the other shards. I mean, it's. I think shard hopping going to different worlds is actually really perfect for the, the designers to have in their tool set uh, or in their back pocket, I guess, not tool set, uh, because like if they're like, oh, we don't want to flesh out this world a little bit, we can create kind of an entirely new world that you can go and do an expansion in. And I, I think that's um, I think that's actually a good choice on their part, to be honest. So as real will attest, I spend a long time agonizing over my failure to alert you, you to the traitors in our midst. For my negligence, I was captured along with many others, and we were powerless to prevent the tragedies that ensued. Not a day goes by that I do not think back to those uh, fateful events. By joining the signs, I hope to redeem myself, and I will continue to serve the cause for as long as I am able. That wasn't my only reason. When we were finally reunited at the Rising Stone, you refused to blame anyone but yourself for the fall of the Crystal Braves. And in spite of everything that had happened, everything you had suffered, you took us back without a moment hesitation. Very true, very true. Uh, so, uh, we would not have blamed you had you turned us away. But when you gave us your trust instead, what else could we do but to repay it? Nothing, uh, that's what. As for my own tale, well, I've always felt the Scions had something in common with the old crew. The duty of a strong, the duty of the strong is to protect the weak. That is our creed, and I still serve it, uh, still strive to live by it this day. But, uh, as time's gone on, I've learned that strength comes in many shapes and sizes. For Hore Boulder to Mistress Tatharu, we've all of us got something to offer. And not one of us is doing it for personal gain. We believe there's more important things than that. Things worth protecting, protecting which is what being a Scion's all about. I I'm at a loss for words. Thank you, my friends. To hear this from you means more than you know. Forgive me, Lunath, did you... Uh, why do you think the Crystal Braves ended in failure? Well, as found in ideals uh, were something to be proud of, but ideals alone don't make a crew. For every Schwab who signed on with good intention, there's another who was uh, only in it for the coin, the glory, or both. Ours was quite a, a dispent, uh, disparate brand, and while I would not forgive Ilbert, uh, the fact that we managed uh, to function uh, at all was thanks in large part to his efforts. It's a pity he was doing it all for the wrong reasons, eh? Uh, only takes one bad apple, they say. And the Braves had a barrel full of them. Uh, not like the Scions. We might look like a ragtag band of misfits, but deep down we've all got the shared sense of purpose. And why? Because Tatru shifted all of the glory hunters 
before they made it through the door. Oh yeah, so yeah, that's good. I see. So while our ranks compromise a device range of range of people, each of their own individual strength, we are all united in purpose. Thank you, my friends. With your permission, I shall make a record of our discussion. Refer to it in drafting my recommendations. Till we meet again. Oh. With this mission. Uh, outside of the first and the thirteen, there are various stages of ruin. We have four shards that have not been destroyed. Uh, fourth, eighth, ninth, and eleventh. Uh, so those could be fair game. Yeah, I think that would, that would be a, a really good thing for them to do there to call is to is to use um, some of those unused shards eventually. Okay, Alphano, what's up? Alphano is keen to hear what uh, Alice and Graha yeah have learned from the Braves who turned their back on the cause. Ooh. Chicken fettuccine, mm, golden pineapple juice, a lemon muffin, zephyr. Not sure what that is, but let's accept this. Well, I think we've taken enough of our colleagues' time, and I'm curious uh, that, uh, um, and I'm curious that less life-affirming testimonies await. Let us make our way to Grandania and hear what the others have learned. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I definitely think it would be cool to see other worlds. And again, like, if they run out of, like... Because, like, we're fighting the Asians right now. And the Asians have always been, like, a big bad enemy. If we, at the end of Endwalker, say, defeat the Asians or something like that, like... And I know Dawn Trail is kind of going to a new world. Like, where where do they go from there? That's that's sometimes um, is the problem with MMOs and other games in general. It's like, you have this huge big bad, and when you defeat that big bad, where where do you go from there? Like... How do you how do you get a new villain, a new enemy that is just as strong or stronger, a new a new threat to the world? Um, yeah, having being able to go to other worlds uh, would definitely be a way to do that. At least I think. Oh, running into a wall. I guess I could have just teleported here to the Lancer's Guild. But I didn't. Plus, it'd be kind of cool just to see what the other worlds are like. I mean, we got the we got the Fae in their little area, which is which became my favorite. So I'm kind of interested in seeing what other places we can see. So thank to Tatru's ever-dependable intelligence, we managed to track down a handful of former Braves without any great difficulty. Some were fortright, others less so. But we learned enough from each... Uh, to form a picture, uh, I must warn you, Alphano, some of their comments were harsh. I can well imagine, but their opinions are no less vital to my report. I seek the unvarnished truth. Thank you. I will settle about adding your findings to my own at once. In the meantime, pray go ahead uh, to Little Solace and seek out uh, Elder uh, Rixio. I, I will join you anon. Where am I supposed to be going here? Oh, little solace. Oh, okay, okay. It's not. It's not in where I thought it was. Okay. Um, every expansion doesn't really need to be bigger than the last. Uh, Dawn Trail seems to be basically boiled down to a race between a team, uh, to a treasure hunt. No world-ending peril there. Okay, I'm glad they're willing to do that, because a lot of games aren't, and I, 
like most sequels to games, they try to one up the, the original. I am definitely, definitely down with like smaller stakes because I mean, not every problem needs to be world ending big problem. You know, some of them could be fun. And stuff like that. As far as you know, anyway. Yeah, Revan, I'm sure something else will come up and, and whatnot during it, but yeah. Like, um, like for instance, uh, I think that's, um, Guild Wars 2. I think that's a problem right now is they had, um, like Elder Dragons and then, and then they had gods involved and then they had, you know, a, a whole big thing with, with like the end of the dragon cycle. And now they're, they're I think they're, they kind of struggled to figure out what to do next. Uh, in the late, latest expansions and stuff like that. So I think that's been an issue. Um, I think Star Wars kind of had the same idea as kind of like, what do we do after kind of the, 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 the main story? And we go through like the Rise of the Hunt Cartel and then Revan, and then we do the whole Knights of the Old Republic, like the Knights of the Fallen Empire problem. Like, what do we, wh how do you, how do you do something bigger and better? But yeah, you don't always have to do bigger and better. Just something that's entertaining and fun to do. Fun to play. That's really the biggest part. Right, so, ah, oh, welcome, brave ones and friends of Brave One. How good it is to see you uh, walking once again so soon after the meeting. Did this one perform the customary dance of greeting? Uh, no, no, be at ease. It is true that these ones once delighted in making waking ones dance, but no more. Horde One Canny Senna uh, said that Waking Ones would be coming uh, to Little Solace. Imperial Ones also invaded uh, Sylphlands and abducted many of these ones. So these ones will be glad to bear message between uh, fighting friendly ones. That is heartening to hear, Elder. It will require all ones to work in un unison to stop the Telephori. These ones will try very hard, of course, but in matters of war, these ones have little experience. Any advice waking ones or walking ones can provide will be most welcome. All right. So another uh, pretty silver haired one and in quite a hurry, it seems. Uh oh, what's going on here? Alice say you must come quickly. What's the matter, Alphano? Don't tell me. You couldn't read my handwriting? What? No. A twin adder once a, a officer accosted me as uh, I was about to set out. Uh, Shranalan is set, has sent an envoy who is due to arrive in Grandania at any moment. Oh, that's interesting. A an envoy? Could it be that Kral has managed to sway the form? Oh, we should know soon enough, but there is more. The Envey has requested that the two of us attend the audience with the Elder Seeds here. Really? I can see why they might want the Scions to be present, but us specifically? Wait, it's not who I think it is. It is. I could scarce believe it myself, but when I inquired as to the Envoy's identity, it was told that it was one for... Oh gosh, French words. Uh, for... Hello, Levin Lure. I'm guessing that's her dad? Your father? Well, no. The fact that a serving member of the forum had journeyed here would be surprised enough. But him? Quite. I gleam from this that they are uh, taking the matter seriously. That may be, but why him and not the other uh, 98 forum members? Unless he volunteered to it. Uh, it has uh, been some time since I last saw your father, is it not? Could it be that he is concerned for your well-being? Perhaps, but he's always been reluctant to discuss his work with us. I mean, you guys have been doing awesome things over here, so I mean, I can see why you'd want to come. Uh, but we'll see. So, indeed, and whether we write to our parents, it is invariable that our mother who replies. Nevertheless, I welcome the opportunity to be with him after so long, even if it is secondary to his true purpose here. Aw. 
Elder Frixio, I loathe though I am to cut our visit short. We must return to Grindania. Pray accept my apologies, along with my report. That's good. Uh, never mind. Uh, there will be time to talk. This one won't keep uh, walking ones from more urgent matters. Go. Uh, the audience will be held at the Lotus Stand, where the El Elder Seed Seer awaits. Even now, let us be on our way. All right, so let's do this. Yeah, what's this? Uh, plus, we still get uh, Marisida and uh, how they're faring, especially with Timet now being free uh, and how that continent changes that. Oh, that's very true. Yes. Are they not? Yeah, Timet's being around, right? I mean, I hope Timet's being awesome and nice and stuff. There's no problems with that. Still got the old 1.0 area that I said to be super dangerous after the calamity. Like the Corthus Lowland? Okay. The plenty of there's yeah, there's lots of places they can still go, which is good. And that's what I love. Like there's still like when you look at the like the, the map, like there's still like there's still this area and even up here, and like there's still so much that they can use uh around the map even. Like this map's like We've barely been to half of it. Like, what is what is this? I want to know what this is. Anyways. Okay, so welcome, Warrior of Light. The Elder Seeds here and your friends are waiting within. Okay, hi, friends. Be All right. Let's go talk with the Elder Seeds here. My friends, I thank you for coming so swiftly. Word of Master Orshelov's visit took um, uh, as quite by surprise. Oh my gosh. Uh, when the Alliance granted Miss, uh, Mistress Kral permission to request uh, the aid, we did not anticipate so prompt a reply, much less that it would be delivered by a member of the forum. Oh, we were there in a dungeon? Oh, okay, were we? I can't remember. Uh, what the nature of the reply be, uh, we shall soon discover. Okay, let's let's do this. Figure this out. Yeah, we've been to the burn. Yes, we've been to the burn. I forgot that. Yes. We're well, not very much, that's for sure. It's your papa. Elder Seeds here. I thank you for granting me this audience. I am Fortuno Levea, here in my capacity as representative of the Forum. It is I who should thank you, Master Fortuno, for journeying Fortuno, okay. so far Fortuno. and so swiftly. Would that our first meeting could have been under happier circumstances. It has been too long, Father. You look well. As do you both. Amelians will be glad to hear that you are taking care of yourselves. How is mother? She misses you terribly, of course, but is otherwise a picture of health. Circumstances apart, I'm grateful that our meeting has afforded me the chance to be reunited with my children at long last. And I believe I also owe you thanks for the hospitality you showed my father, Louiswa, during his sojourn in Eorzea.
all thanks we owe to him. In the days prior to the seventh umbral calamity, it was your father's tireless efforts which granted us a means to vanquish the primals. Were it not for him, our strength would have been quite spent by the time the Empire arrived. That Gridania still stands is in large part his achievement. He was a great man. He would doubtless have been moved to hear you say so. I must confess, however, that I opposed his decision to intervene. And my position remains unchanged. To chart the course of history, not to change it. I am familiar with the Charlian stance. It is more than that. It is our way of life, who we are. But I came here not to deliver a lecture, but the forum's answer to your request. Charlian will under no circumstances intervene in the conflict between Eorzea and the Garlian Empire. May I ask for what reason the Forum has come to this decision? The final days spell the end not only for Eorzea, but the entire world. The final days? Pray spare me your hyperbole. This conflict is no more than the latest in a series of petty squabbles between yourselves and Garlemald. One in which Charlian will take no part. If the final days were truly upon us, we would know. Father, you must ask the Forum to reconsider. You may feel safe on your little island across the waves, but if you imagine the Telophoroi will leave you be, you are mistaken. They mean to kill us all, themselves included. Alphano is right. We have seen what the enemy is capable of, the lengths to which they'll go. This is no time to turn a blind eye. If Eorzea falls, so too will Charlian. So if you truly love our homeland, you will join us. Now, before it's too late. <sighs> I thought you knew better than to raise your voice to your elders. It seems I was wrong. Wrong to ever let you leave, Charlian. I consoled myself that your time abroad would instill in you some hint of restraint, of discipline. But I see now that Eorzea has made fools of you both. Have you forgotten why it was that I so vehemently opposed your grandfather's departure? For all his wisdom, his only solution was to go to war. Death, devastation, ruin. Even those who claim victory are scarred for life. What prize could ever justify such sacrifice? It is the duty of the learned to avert such tragedy. By fanning the flames of war, you forsake all you once held dear. It's better to fight and fail than wait for the next axe to fall. I see your friend shares your misguided ideals. But unlike him, you should know better. By espousing such barbaric notions, you subvert the teachings of Charlian and place all we have worked for in jeopardy.
Alfino Alizé. As of this moment, you shall no longer bear the name of Leveilleur. What? What? That's what I said. How you choose to live your lives is no longer my concern. If you wish to walk the path of ruin, I will not stand in your way. Master Fortuno, while Charlian may have no intention of intervening in this conflict, we can still part as friends. Will you not stay and speak with us, that we might learn of Charlian's hopes for the morrow? I have said what I came here to say. Any further discussion would be meaningless. Father! Wait! Don't bother, Alize! How can you stand there and watch him walk away? How can you let this happen? Well, he seems like a nice guy. Oh my gosh. This guy's the worst. And uh, this will definitely uh, come to bite them in the butt. Oh, and I kind of feel bad for the, the twins now. Their, their, their family just essentially disowned them. Well, their dad just disowned them. So that's what he came here to say? That we're all fools for having, uh, having to defend ourselves against the... Uh, um, Telephori, as and as for the rest, like it or not, uh, this is this was the form's decision. You watch from afar while Eorzea burns. Father was but the messenger, and he has handed down their judgment. I could think of nothing I could say that could possibly sway him. I still can't. Not prolong the discussion would have changed little, for it is not only Master Fortuno that. Who, mu who must be persuaded, but the forum as a whole. Their decision was made ere your father crossed the sea. Nor is it like to be changed. And so we shall face the Telephori without their aid. Forgive me, but if they had no intention of helping us, then why would they go to the trouble of sending an envoy in the first place? Why did they not simply keep their counsel as they are wont to do? Uh oh. Uh, has Master Fortuno arrived yet? That is as I feared. My efforts were in vain. I pleaded a case to as many four members as I could, but their flat, flatly, relief, uh, flatly refused to discuss the matter. No, that's not exactly true. I should, ra I should rather say that they ignored every word I said on the subject. Without exception, it was almost unnerving. Could it be that they're hiding something from us? They might go some way into explaining Master Orshino's performance? When he said that they would know in the, that the final days were truly upon us, I dismissed it as pride. But what if they genuinely believe that they know how the world will end and simply disagree with us about the circumstance? That I don't know. Uh, but something tells me uh, they are not as concerned, as unconcerned about the Telephori as they claim. If the threat weren't real, why else would they be so st standoffish and secretive? Would they... Uh, I would very much like to delve deeper into this, but I'm afraid I've exhausted every avenue of inquiry. Nor have I fared any better with my mission. Researching Heidelin and the Ethereal Sea, I tried enlisting the help of experts in the field, but it appears the forum has forbidden anyone from cooperating with us. Correcting... Corrected at every turn. So it would seem, but don't lose heart just yet. Uh, with all the knowledge and uh, acquaintances we have between us, we can still find a way forward. Uh, to that end, I would like you all, all to join me here. When the time is right, of course, I'm aware that matters of Eorzea stand on a knife edge, but with your permission, I could at least start making the necessary arrangements. Um, I've always wanted to visit uh, Shreyline. Yeah. Wait, we get to go there? Oh, is that where we throw the new, the new expansion? Uh, and so you shall. I'll be it under less than happy circumstances. It will take a while to secure entry uh, for you all, but I'll let you know when you when everything is in order. Look after yourselves in the meantime, won't you? Your speculations give me cause to hope. 
Yet, if the seeds will bear fruit, cannot say. Well, it is possible the uh, Shreelands uh, hide some secret truth from us. There can be no certainty uh, that it, its exposure will prompt in them a change of heart. And so, for the present, we must needs confront the plight in which we find ourselves. The form has refused our request for aid. It falls on us alone to contend with the Telephora. Even with all of Aorzea standing united, there's no guarantee that we will prevail. So what do they intend to do if we fail? I'm going to get the chicken fettuccine. I love how at this point my bag is just full of food. All right. Uh, death unto dawn. So ooh, we get the shh. Man, so uh, Candy Seta seems determined not to let the disappointment of the rejection distract her. The task at hand. So, well, uh, Charlian's stance is indeed disappointing. We cannot allow ourselves to be distracted from the challenge before us. There is much and more to be done. A oh, last quest. Oh, this is the last quest. Okay, awesome. Well, I suggest a solution. The solution is bad. We need to know their solution. Um, that he wants to say. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's going to happen here? Uh, I shall begin uh, by sharing the form's response with my counterparts in the Alliance. Meanwhile, I will ask that the Scions... Grave tidings. Uh, walking ones. Grave tidings. Grave or grave, grave tidings. Uh oh. Calm yourself, my gentle friend. What has occurred? These ones uh, who went to see Feathered Ones sent terrible, uh, ones sent terrible news. Destroying uh, ones have appeared in uh, Zelfato. Destroying ones and captured ones and even frightful godly ones. Feathered Ones don't stand a chance and were sent flapping and squawking. When did this happen? Is it too late to help them? Too late, yes. Much too late. But luckily, destroyed ones uh, were only passing through and continued on west. Feather ones who did not fight were left unharmed. West? Uh, that could be Corethus. Uh-oh. My lady, these guardians report that the Telefari have emerged from the eastern highlands of Corethus and are marching at speed. Though their uh, purpose is yet to be determined, uh, the flats would see most likely their destination. Lord Amaric has already dispatched his forces and requests our immediate support. Tell him he shall have it. The time has come for the Grand Company of Eorzea to prove its worth. All right, let's go. Get everyone together and let's go fight. Grr. Well, mayhap, it is a mercy that we do not have time to stew upon our misfortunes. Come, my friends. Let us make haste for Kataru. Or Kataru. For that place. Wait, I almost forgot. Destroyed ones uh, were said to be led by a crackling robed one. One must see that all waking ones know. Farewell. Well, this one must see. So, Dan Fandango is, is leading them. Okay. Or Fan Daniel. Fan Daniel. Fan Daniel. Uh, who else? It was only a matter of time before that grimacing maniac showed himself again. I shall have an airship ready to bear you to... Um, Artanio, pray see to your preparations report to the landing with all haste. Okay, let's go. At once, my lady. Let us away. Also, why do we not build giant... Why don't... Oh, not even giant. Why don't we build airships with guns? That would help us so much. Even if their guns, like, pointed down that are firing at the ground. Why are we not doing that? Back to the place where Bahamut rained down destruction before two men. Yeah, and that's also where like the PvP area is, right? Is there? Something I should actually try is is actual PvP in this game. I know I've done it against uh, some of you guys, but like, like actually play PvP. What one of them? Okay. Okay, here's Alpha now. Lunith, it would seem uh, Bordola has come all the way from Grindania to find us. 
Uh, I have explained the situation, but she insists her business is urgent. Aye. It'll be over sooner if you shut up and come with me. Okay. <laughs> just, just, okay. Arnvold! I can't tell you how good it is to see you. Okay, I thought maybe he'd be like all slashed up and stuff, but he's not. It arrived a lot sooner than expected, eh? The day I craned my neck up at you. Only because you're sitting down. Unless. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's all. I mean, that sucks. Afraid so. The Chirurgeons say I may never walk again. May never walk again. Okay, so he might still be okay eventually. Although I'm not going to lie, we can build Magitek devices. Why can't we build them like a suit of armor? He could become Iron Man. Come on, Alfino, it could be worse. Besides, I didn't come here to dampen the mood. Quite the opposite. All I've ever wanted was to fight for a cause I believe in. But my fighting days are over. So I want you to fight in my stead. Be the hero I can't. I am no hero. That's what they all say, though. No one ever calls themselves a hero. Even the ones who eat primals for breakfast. It's for <laughs> others to decide. Look, Alfino. You already are a hero. To me and countless others. We see you doing your damnedest to protect us all. And you're not alone, are you? There are people who believe in you, just as you believe in them. Uh, some things may have changed, but the adventure isn't over yet. What's at stake, and how many people are depending on you? But I believe in you. Believe that you'll see it through. That's why I'm entrusting my dreams to you. Like Abba and Owly once entrusted their dreams to me. There was a time when I would have borne the weight of such expectations without a second thought. But now, I know just how heavy that burden can be. To tell the truth, I'm beginning to wonder if I chose the right path. Sacrifices will inevitably be made for the sake of the ideals I uphold. Maybe I am not the person I thought I was, the person you think I am. I wouldn't presume to tell you. But I will say this. In spite of everything, you've come this far. The road ahead might not always be clear, but you've never been one to give up or take the easy way out. And everything you do, you do for others. For a brighter future. I'm proud to call you my friend. Well, I've said my piece, so I'll let you go. I know you've got more important things to be doing. Just give what I've said some thought, all right?
I shall, my friend. And we will meet again soon, I promise. Nothing left for me to do but wave and smile. You've got a pretty narrow view of what it means to be a hero, do you know that? You think they're all forged in the fires of battle? Alpha No and the others will carry on their fight. But theirs isn't the only one. There are other ways you can make a difference. If you stop feeling sorry for yourself and put your bloody mind to it. There's not much chance of me living the quiet life with you around, is there? <laughs> if you're content to twiddle your thumbs thinking of what might have been, that's your lookout. But I reckon you've got some fight left in you. And I reckon you might be right. If there's a way I can still help my friends, I'll bloody well find it. All right. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure he'll be back in the story, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, so, oh, you need to play more PvP to get the last force before the next expansion there, Revan? Oh, um, you mean PvP mounts? Is that, uh, you get certain pounds, mounts there? You don't like, uh, the helmets there either, Revan? I, I'm not gonna lie, I like helmets on my characters. I, there's even, like, some, some games that I play that like, let you do, use different races. I specifically will not choose ones that don't let me put helmets on. It's weird, I know, but... I like I like helmets. Also, it looks like we're going to be doing a, a duty here, so I'm going to leave the group here. Leave the party here. So let's uh, let's do this. Oh, you just don't like that one. Uh, Tracer says no beer or Othgar. Again, I might do one eventually, but I I again I like. As, even in, maybe not helmets, but as long as I can have something that covers your face, I like that. I don't know. I'm weird like that. I'm like I don't know to call. You're kind of the same way. We like you like face coverings on some of your characters. So your main character has got like a face covering, right? All right. You can tell me later what uh, that was all about. But judging by the set of Alphano's jaw, it appears we have done some done him some good. Thancred and the others have already left the Rising Stones, and according to the communications officer, Almaja and Kobid, uh, Kobold forces are also bound for Arkartanu as we speak. They mean to keep the promise they made in El Amigo, and we must do the same by saving as many of the temper of their temper kin as possible. Anyway, the airship is ready to part. Uh, we should get going. Upon joining the Battle of Cartoon, several cutscenes were playing sequence. It is recommended that you set aside significant time. Okay. Give me some time. Um For me, yeah. Uh most games you don't ever wear a full helm. That's just this is you though. Yeah, Revan, that's totally fine. Some people don't like doing it. Even like uh for instance, come to like uh my miniature games that I play. Uh like a tabletop miniature games. I i if there's an option for a helmet or unhelmeted option, I will always go for the helmeted option. Just weird. I like that. Yeah, I I do I do like this outfit. I like this outfit quite a bit. I'm glad you like it too. Uh, you use it. Uh, oh, your bard onto Kelly and uses only dyed green. That makes sense. Again, I dyed it white to be a white mage, but uh, yeah, it would look cool for a bard too. All right, so let's go. Uh, your progress through the battle will be saved at certain points. In the event that you are defeated, you will be able to try again for the most recent of these. Okay, please note that if you enter battles associated with other quests or log out from the game, the progress will be lost. All right, good to know. We definitely got enough time, so let's do this. Got a few hours. 
like an hour or so needed. Oh, okay. His his core because he keeps uh, the helmet. I I don't know. I like helmets. I like that. I'm great. I, I like helmets on my stuff. It's also weird to me, certain games that like a character will have a helmet and then always take it off when they're talking and then put it back on and then take it off when they're doing some talking and put it back on. I don't like that. That's weird to me. Keep it on. My fellow Scions, as I am sure you will have heard, we can expect no help from Charlian, nor are we any closer to discerning the Telophoroi's grand design. And now, our adversary moves against us in unprecedented numbers, compelling us to answer in kind. The outlook, in short, is bleak. Yet though our foes are many, and we but few, we may still tip the balance in Eorzea's favor. Of course. We will do what we always do, deal with the ones our allies can't. A less than daunting prospect, judging by your expression. Could it be that you've dispelled your lingering doubts, Alphino? Oh, I doubt I ever will. But as my friends have kindly reminded me, I have come this far, and that must count for something. Gods be good, Alphino. That's what we've been trying to tell you all along. For one so bright, you can be remarkably dim at times. There is such a thing as overthinking, you know. Might I suggest that we continue this conversation after the battle? It would appear that Telophoroi have already arrived. I'll do what I can to cure the Tempered, but they'll have to be incapacitated first. Have care, my friends, for none can say wherefore our foe did choose this fateful field to be our battleground. Whatever may transpire, pray grant him not the pleasure of deterring you. You can't wait to see the two die option come Don Trial. Don Trail. Is that they're going to be able to do two dies on outfits now? Okay, duty commenced. Okay, what are we doing here? Listen well, friends. The offer I are sweeping across our car to new. As for the Asian, he was briefly sighted above the battlefield. He has since vanished, but likely intends to watch events unfold from afar. Thus far, the movements of the Lunar Primals have proven difficult to predict, even when poised to ambush our troops. They instead withdraw for some unknown reason. Whatever the Telophorized plan may be, the Primals are our primary targets of this helmet. Understood. We will not elude the signs. They will not elude the signs for long. Prepare yourself! Okay. Let's give it our all! Hold fast. Holy, all the holy. Oh, it's not my upgraded holy because it struck me down to level 80. So they would overwhelm us with sheer numbers, okay. Definitely seems like. I will keep them occupied. The rest of you seek out the primals. Uh, let us divide our forces. We can locate the primal force quickly. Thancred, Eustolia, and I shall head east. I'll concentrate my efforts on the temper. With luck, I should have the chance to cure some of them. Then I'll go west. Lunith, Alphano, come with me. Yeah, go to Stinian. Go to Stinian. This way.
and absolutely love how it's a battle going on. Seriously, we should just start making these machines. Why don't we make just making those machines? It's said to help us build some, uh... Some, some, some... Robots. Oh, cool! As the signs spread out across the field, Alice and Gran Agrana take the fight to the tel a Telephori. Oh, this is awesome! More storytelling like this, please. Oh! Oh, gosh, am I gonna fight as them? Okay. Something's not right. I didn't realize that's something. But there are so many of them. Uh, I won't be calling anyone at this rate. We'll have to incapacitate them first. Okay. I mean, she's kind of a modified red mage, it looks like. Allow me. If the tempering has gone too far, uh, with degree of physical alteration, I fear they are beyond help. If heroes are no, I hate to see them in such pain. Oh. I must see their suffering is not prolonged. Okay, so they, they can't be saved. We're just going to pick them out. Just the beginning. Right behind you. Oh, you can heal yourself. Okay. Oh, that's why. So Arizona doesn't have the tech to build the stuff, and Sid refused to make war weapons anymore for either side. Okay, that makes sense. That's why. Seems we've earned a moment's respite. And that's also why our, our ships don't have guns on them. Let us take this opportunity to cure the tempered. Uh, what are we doing here? How do I do that? How do I do this? Where's the... Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh. There we go. Look, what's going on? Alright, let's... Use Angelo to cure the tempered. Hello, friend. Do you see that? The glyph? Yes. How worried should we be? Oh, what's this? Is 
Listen well, and judge for yourself. Though I can see etheric currents, uh, I had not thoroughly examined those that flow through the heart of uh, Cartanu. But now that I'm here, things have become clear. The flats conceal an etheric uh, con convergence, uh, like the pillars of Azim Steep, uh, but at uh, but greater in scale, far greater. The glyphs that Fan Daniel has conjured uh, react and in, uh, reach into their very midst. And I believe I know the purpose. Did the lunar primals destroy them? Uh, it can spark a chain reaction with the potential to obliterate the confluence entirely. The resultant disruption of flow of aether would show chaos among the elements, prompting earthquakes, floods, and tempests large enough to lay waste to the realm. Uh oh. That he would go so far, come with as little surprise. We must need to protect the confluence at all costs. All right, let's go. Defeat Lunar, uh, Lunar Odin and defend. Uh, okay. Hello, Lunar Odin. So that's Odin. Uh, so the time has come to pit my blade against his. Follow my lead. Oh, I'm playing as Uriange. I mean, yeah, I'm playing as Uriange. Okay, what, what do I got here? What class is him? Oh, it's a healing spell. I don't care about that. That was that was harsh. Okay. I can oh I can heal the thing? Okay. That's actually good to know. Bit healed. Get my allies healed. I don't know if I'm a healer class or an attacking class, but I feel like I'm a healing class. Oh, this is not about Bell. We best brace ourselves. Okay. You're a healer, a healer Astro, okay. The first Thanker doth require oh, a... Oh, gosh! Defense is a good defense. Okay, let's do some healing. Oh, just preparing to strike again. State of its reach, but guarding the influence must come first. Okay. Oh, that didn't do anything. Hold it here for a second. It's kind of a cool ability we could use here. Get up a little bit. I uh, think we just use tank break limit there. Okay.
and Chris stay alive. So that he stands a glutton for for punishment, it would seem. In that case, we'd be glad to oblige him, kid. Come on, Odin. Yay, we won. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, we defeated Odin. Meanwhile, Grahatia and Alice prepared to lock swords with Lunar uh Ivana. Okay. Okay, who am I playing with here? Let's see where I'm supposed to defend this confluence? Okay. Uh Must be Ivana, uh, a formidable opponent by all accounts, uh, but so are we. Okay. Are we a uh, black mage? Oh no, red mage? Are we a red mage also? Or white mage? I'm confused. The live is but the fight. Casting quick break. Oh, this one. I have you now. What does this do? Okay. That stops them from moving? Interesting. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Alice is hurting bad. Definitely an interesting fight right now. Alright, a bunch of these. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Oh gosh, Alice. Eh? Yeah. 
Again, these were harder when they were new. Ah, uh, that probably makes sense. I'm sure... I'm sure people failed quite a bit when they first came out. This mission. Alright. But we have literally just defeated two primals today, so far. <laughs> just, just defeating primals. What we do. Like they're nothing. At the self-same moment, uh, you stand shoulder to shoulder with Alpha Nova Sidian to resolve to lay Lunar Ifrit low. Hello, Lunar Ifrit. How's it going, buddy? Lunar Ifrit. The one uh, Aaron Valden for Dona encountered. For Dola encountered. Let's do this. One is not to be taken lightly. Be on your guard. Okay. okay. All the glare all the time. So take down the nails, it looks like. You're finished. There you are. Oh. He's gonna follow Astinian and uh, Alphano here. Clearly they know what they're doing. When Lovelin Aether shows up, okay. Can we take off the nails? No. Okay. You can't remember a class you were when you did these? Uh, I can see being a healer class could be helpful. More of them. Our foe seeks to destroy the confluence and us along with it. Yeah, that's kind of, I'm sure that's probably the plan. Okay. We've come to this. Okay, Stinian, what's, what's going on? Oh, yes, please. I have you now. What? Why'd you wait so long to do that? Healers are always good to have uh, to be at these at the last job for I uh, level personally. Okay. Oh, healers are always going to be the last jobs you level personally. Okay. You're not a fan of healing then? I will not be outdone.
time we ended this. Yes, it is a Sinian. There we go. Not worried about messing up too much. Yeah, that's why, like, uh, when I've been doing dungeons, I'm like, no, I'm not going to go as a healer because I don't want to screw up too much. Okay, but we got the, the third primal so far today. How many primal? So little time. All right, but that's um. What's up, Van Daniel? And thus another plan went up in smoke. I am beginning to see why Lord Zenos thinks so highly of you. Not that this changes anything, you understand. You have merely earned yourself a stay of execution. How fair the tempered. We've treated as many as we can, but some were beyond help. Do not hang your head so, brave scions. Though not all of our captured brethren could be saved, we are grateful for those whose minds have been restored. You could do no more, and that is enough. So please, hold your heads high. Yeah, we did a good job. Oh, should have been quicker, but I'll do better next time. Thank you for your kind words. They mean a lot. A victory at great cost. But a victory nonetheless. We must stay strong and press on. Isn't that right?
One battle at a time. We'll get there. That we will. Oh, this music means something bad's happening. Uh-oh. The moon grows a face and starts falling, I swear. Fantasy 14 Shadowbringers is finished. So in Shadowbringers. Oh my gosh. Also, I want to say how much I love this song. Gosh, and even the artwork is amazing. Man. I wish I could draw. One of the skills I wish I, I had... And even, like, when I tried doing it in school, my teachers felt bad for me and gave me decent marks. They gave me passing grades just because they knew I was trying hard. But yeah, so that's the end of Shadowbringers. Wow, I didn't actually think I was going to be finishing it so quickly today. That, I'm not going to lie, that's actually... I didn't... That's, that's a patch you would have waited several months to get to. And that's, like... What, like, really an hour and a half, maybe, of content? The term A for effort didn't just follow this guy. Well, I mean, my, uh, my, light, my, uh, perspective teacher, he, he, at the end of, end of class, he's like, hey, so, uh, normally with what you've done, I would give you a failing grade, but you're trying really hard, so here's this C. So he's like, I don't want to hold you back because this is a computer. I'm going for 3D modeling for, for school. And he's like, here's a C. Name is my life drawing t teacher uh, and my concept art teacher that I class I had to take. Yeah. See, this makes Orianje kind of look cool. This stole, I think, is still my favorite of the Scions. I just like how she sees the world differently now, which is kind of cool. She sees it through the the, the, aether, the ether. Oh, here are other stuff on it. Uh, not just story like Save the Queen finale and stuff like that. Yeah, and it would have had other things like that added to it. But the story itself seems a little little short. But again, that's fine. I mean, they split uh, five and five point five. Essentially, uh, patch five is split in half with five and five point, uh, point five five, right? That makes sense. Yeah, I'm very excited to see, very excited to see what's next in, uh, in Endwalker. I do like how they have all, like, four voice actors for each, each character, too. It's kind of cool. Five, uh, point five five is usually really short. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the last few. That's pretty short. Which makes sense. Makes very much it makes sense to have it short like that. All right. Uh, let's. Can I just sit and escape? Oh, I can skip it. Yes. If you're just gonna go into uh, other things, okay. Let's speak with Alice to end uh, this expansion. Or this patch. I don't really call it expansion. I guess technically it's the end of the expansion, yeah. I trust you all enjoyed a comfortable flight aboard the pride of the Ishgardian fleet. Least, uh, lest you worry, the Bonanza has been towed to a nearly nearby location to be retrieved at your convenience. Uh, I have 
Uh, you have thought of everything, Lord Emmerich. And may I say how much I appreciate the hospitality you afforded us on the way home. Think nothing of it. Our destination lay in the same direction. And it afforded me the perfect opportunity to learn how my errant friend has been since last he took his leave. It would seem you have finally found a place to settle down. Hmm. I really grew wary of wandering the Far East. Uh, returning to more serious matters. Uh, well, the Telephori have been driven from Cartano. It is likely uh, that the bulk of their forces yet remain. On the evidence of the Grand Company of Eorzea's first joint military operation, uh, operation, however, I am confident uh, that we have the potential to beat such threats head-on, even without the aid of you and yours. As such, while our forces keep uh, the Telephore at bay, I would ask uh, that you apply your talents to the task of neutralizing the towers. A sensible division of labor. While the towers remain, so too will the threat of the Lunar Primals. And given our expertise in the field of Aetherology, uh, we would be better qualified to find the solution. Uh, that we are, especially should it uh, happen to lie beyond the Alliance's dominion. There is a time and a place for formal investigations, of course, but certain secrets are want to hide uh, where only enterprising individuals may enter or venture. Do not agree more. There are none better suited for this task, nor any upon whom I would rather rely. On behalf of the Alliance, I thank you. We look forward to receiving any information you are able to uncover. And with that, I must take my leave. Should you have any need of assistance, pray do not hesitate to ask. Fare you well, my friends. I confess, I hope uh, to be able to study the towers more closely. Vital as they plainly are to the Telephore's plans. Uh, I am, uh, if we can discern their ultimate function, we will be one step closer to understanding our enemy's grand scheme. Should we succeed in neutralizing them, of course, it is all but clear that the Telephore will mount an all out invasion. And then, uh, and then it will begin. For one who awaits at the heart of chaos will come for us, for you. Yet in the end, our true nemesis may be uh, the. Calamity uh, to end all calamities. The final days themselves. Yes. All right, Alphano. We need a plan, not uh, portents. And Thangrid so eloquently pointed out, we are in a position to seek information from all manner of places. Not least... Uh, Shreyalin. Okay, let's go there. Go. According to Kryle, the form uh, have been more secretive than ever of late. Well, this may be related to the appearance of the Telephore, that remains a matter of speculation. But one thing is clear. The Forum is determined to keep us from discovering the truth. Master Forchino, a performance at the Lotus Stand, was enough to convince me of that. The matter beareth further investigation. I do heartily concur. Nor can I think of a more promising place to look for answers we seek on the matter of the Towers. Braylon uh, hath ever been the wellspring of Etherical knowledge. I care not where we go. Here or there, my lance will be ready. And what of you, Luna? Might you be persuaded to join us? Mm. <laughs> uh, plot a course for a Shreyan. Shreyan. Rayland? Gosh, I could learn how to pronounce this better if we're going to be going there. Here, here. It is time we laid uh, bare the Telephore's dark designs. It appears we are in agreement. We have but to wait for Kral to secure the necessary permissions. In the meantime, there's a matter I would investigate. Does that involve tall structures? My strange coincidence, it does. At present, I have only a creeping suspicion, but with your help, I will soon Soon find out whether my fears are warranted. All right, so I get the I get the shh command now. I'm gonna see what this looks like. Stop butchering name. I'm sorry, Revit. I'm sorry. I know. Uh, you learned the emotes. Shush. 
Meanwhile, there we go. Meanwhile, meanwhile in the Carlian capital. Okay, what's happening here? Hey, the dragon. Uh, oh! Oh, yeah, because Endwalker's where the Reaper came in, right? Those Aorzeans certainly are a stubborn bunch. Though I suppose you knew that already. My plan to redirect the ether from Cartano came to a rather less than satisfactory conclusion. It was, in many respects, an abject failure. Which does, of course, raise the question of where we are going to procure the requisite amount. The obvious solution would be to draw on resources a little closer to home, though that would require our dreamer to dream a trifle more deeply. So be it. The dreamer will not complain. Is it a dreamer now? Then let us begin the preparations at once. With the gateway of the gods complete, all that remains is to gather the necessary ether, and our prize shall be within reach. Evil looking tower there, I like it. The time has come to fulfill your heart's desire. My desire! To relieve those wretched creatures of their meaningless existence! Womp. So Xenos has become a reaper. That's cool. Kind of fitting. While I await you, I shall drink a sea of souls and gorge myself upon the darkened moon. Then you shall come to me, all roiling rage and rancor. And the stars shall bear witness to our final contest. I love how crazy you are. <laughs> That's a villain's line you want to use at your D&D &D pals one day. That would be awesome, Jazor. Man, I got to play some more D&D. &D. It's been so it's been too long since I played some. This is my paladin. As I thought, the ethereal currents have been disturbed here, too. Wait, there was a roar? I didn't hear the roar part. Uh-oh. What was it the was roar the for? the same in Thanalan. Make that every location we surveyed. Oh, what's happening? And the strength of each current has diminished dramatically. Far more than could be attributed to a natural occurrence. What tidings bringest thou from Dravania? We took a number of readings and noticed that the closer we were to the tower, the lower the etheric density became. In short, the towers are drawing upon the land's ether, which would explain how they were able to carry out the summonings. That's not good. Our allies must be informed of this. We should return to the Rising Stones and have Tataru relay our findings to them.
Hear me. Hear me. Wow, Hyland's actually talking to us. Darkness comes, comes. And with and it, with it, with it. The end. The, end. the fate, 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 fate of the star, of the star, 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 star is in your is hands. In your hands. hands. Oh, wow. It's been a long time since she talked to us. Like we found out yesterday. I remembered yesterday. The dragon Everything song. Everything all right back there? Moon getting bigger? It's her first time we've seen her, though. Yeah, I was... Oh, oh. At Solment, dawn, grim purpose shines. It gazes cast towards moonlit sky. Thus does our final curtain rise. Your steps to guide what end betide. Ooh. Under the darkened moon. Um, First time we've ever seen her, though. Yeah, I was expecting her to kind of look like... um. Uh, Minfilia. Okay. Is the next ship to sail, is that the start of Endwalker? Okay, so that'll be the start of Endwalker, so I won't do that mission. Okay. Uh, you guys are saying that, that, um, um, oh, yeah, watch the Endwalker trailer before I get off. I totally will that. And, and the battles are normally, oh, that's Endwalker quest once. Okay, thank you. Uh, Dre, sorry. Yeah, we're done. We're done with, done with the uh, Shadowbringers. I am I'm done with Shadowbringers. I'm very excited to be done with Shadowbringers. Okay. <laughs> Not that I didn't like it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um Yeah, I I think I still got some time to play today. I think I'm just gonna quickly head to do 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 um the golden saucer and see if I can get get uh, another bonus plus I gotta go check my cact my my big cactar card. I got the bo the big bonus yesterday, so very excited for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start Endwalker next week. Uh, again, the plan is to do Endwalker. Uh, I know next Saturday I'm not streaming, but oh, it's next Friday I should be okay to stream. Um, oh, what's the, I got to look at the calendar here for a second. I know next Saturday I'm busy. Um... But the night, the 29th is a Friday. I should be able to stream then. So yeah. Um, and then maybe a different day next week. But I, I know for sure the uh, the the, Saturday, uh, the Friday. If that changes again, I'll let you guys know. I know the next next little while is going to be a little different for me. Kind of moving from one position to a new position is going to change kind of when I'm able to stream and stuff like that. Um. Uh, oh, you recommend watching that vid? Oh, the one with the, um, um, that you sent me there, Drezar? Yeah, I can do that. Only one more expansion uh, to go and you'll maybe be caught up. Oh, I mean, at least I will technically be in the same expansion, the current expansion, for a couple months. Let's do the mini jackdoor ticket. Look, 79,000. Because I got a 10,000 jackpot last time. All right. All right, well, I'm going to do this one because I want that jackpot again. Not gonna get it, but I want it. No, let's go here. Nope. That's still 252. Okay, I'll take that. Technically, I'm correct. The best kind of correct. Technically. Uh, we're gonna do this. I hope that's a three. Ah, oh, it wasn't a three. Okay, see you tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I'll watch the, the I watch the um, uh, the trailer before I leave today too. Don't worry. Meet the net. Uh, and then my plan is to also get my machinist already. That is the class I plan on playing for the next expansion. Did I win anything? 
I want nothing. I want, ooh. I got one number ma that matched. Yes. Did I get the car? No, I didn't get the car. I saw that it came back. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to play very much during that. Oh, I didn't want anything there. Uh, yeah, I was doing a dungeon there to call. Trying to do some leveling up and stuff like that. Alright. Um, uh, oh, the pre-order start on Tuesday, March 26th. Yeah, I definitely... I. I think I'm going to try for it. I, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it, but I'm definitely going to do my best to try for it. Uh, do I play this one again? All right. Oh, yeah, this is how this works. Behind the digital for sure. Yeah, if I can't get the physical for sure by the digital. I won 25. Okay. They look really cool. Yeah, the figure looks really cool. Um, I already want to play through Final Fantasy IX again, which is actually something, I'm not going to lie, I've been wanting to do for a while because I love Final Fantasy IX. Thinking about playing through it again. I was weak. Oh, that was super weak. But it, it, I'll be I'll be one of those things like if I do get it, that's awesome. If I don't get it, it I won't be too worried. Did I get anything for that one? Oh, I get 15 for that one. Okay, I'm done with that. Done with that. <laughs> yeah, it won't be the end of the world if I if I happen to to not get it. But I will I'll try. Doesn't hurt to try, eh? Uh do level jobs quite fast by doing yeah, by doing uh stuff like levies, ten fates, and daily hunts. Yes. And thank you again for telling me that, because that's definitely something I'll be I'll be doing. Uh, while well, I'm doing that. Alright. Anything else to do here? On top of daily... Yeah, top of daily leveling roulette. So many ways to level. Awesome. I like leveling. I was going to learn how to play the machinist better. Very interesting class so far. Let us. Um, oh, uh, oh, just ask you could help too. April 2nd. What's April 2nd? Oh, Final Fantasy 16 crossover uh, event is April 2nd. Okay. The fast cues. What the heck is this? Uh. Oh, is that what the, is that what these guys were doing? Okay. 
Oh, okay. Okay, you can't partake anymore because it started already. All right, so they're dodging the bamboo. Oh, and now they're trying to dodge the, the, the puppy. Oh, you got kicked out, it looks like. Kind of cool. We would practice dodging. Yeah, I kind of want to wait till this is over and give it a try before I do anything else. But yeah, uh, I know you guys. You guys have all finished everything with Endwalker. How? Where has Endwalker kind of been in your guys' mind? expansion wise like rating wise like wh what's been your favorite expansion what's been your least favorite expansion so far <laughs> i think i think so far uh oh for you uh uh, Endwalker is definitely second for you after Shadowbringers. Oh, where'd the person go? Oh, does this only happen every once in a while? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, and Walker, uh, but the consensus seems to be that the main story is 10 out of 10, but the patcher was lacking. Oh, for End Walker? Okay. All right. There you go. It's a gatekeeper. Let's talk with her. The feels, all the feels. Oh, the feelings. So the, the expansion itself is great. Uh, 420. Okay. Uh, All events are on the schedule. Okay. At 13 minutes. Um. You enjoy Reaper there, Revan? Okay. The job. Oh, Drazer says the boss. The job designs that has felt the most lacking. Yeah, Reaper was. Reaper's okay. But yeah, I can see how it's not as exciting as some of the other ones. Um, I think for me. Weirdly enough, I think Stormblood has been, has been my favorite so far. Not that Shadowbringers is bad, it just... I like Stormblood quite a bit. It felt like you were kind of building something, which is kind of nice. Nice. Heaven Sword was also... They've all been really good. Uh, better than most full games on their own, story-wise, to be honest. Uh, but definitely, definitely, um, I have enjoyed it quite a bit. Most jobs have become very similar. That's what most people are complaining about. That's yeah. You guys have even mentioned that before, where all the jobs, like all the melee DPS jobs, kind of uh, been all the melee uh, combat jobs feel the same. All the tank jobs feel the same. All the healer jobs feel the same. Um, I haven't played many jobs, so I can't really speak for that. But that's what you guys have been saying. Stormblood tends to be people's least favorite, but I don't know. I like Stormblood. Had a very interesting cast of characters. Um, Heaven's Ward was pretty good. But I feel Heaven's Ward's kind of wrapped up a little quickly, I think, that one. Yeah. I don't know, I liked... I liked Stormblood. Shadowbringers was awesome, too. I liked how we, we traveled... We were kind of traveling around and doing different things. And Walker overall is like a third place. And I'm guessing this is where we're going to be going next expansion.
Uh, community ranking tends to have uh, Heaven's Ward or um, Shadowbringers 1 and 2 in, in some order. Okay. Okay, like Drazer says, Heaven's Ward's your top expansion with Shadowbringers, the close second. Yeah, they're both really good. Yeah, they're all the expansions have been so good so far. All, all three uh, I've done. I've actually done three. Oh my gosh. Even the Realm Reborn story is really good. I'm really excited where they where they go from here. Um now 230. Are Realm Reborn is your least favorite? Yeah, Realm Reborn. Um I don't know if it's changed much. Um because they made it a little bit more, uh, uh, they made it flow a little bit better, right? Where they got some of the stuff done. I'm just waiting for someone to say 1.0 is the best. Oh gosh. Um, all right, you know what? I got some time here. Let's let's. Um, I'm gonna log out. Yeah, because log out will take me to the main return to the title screen. Uh, let's watch the trailer. Personally, never had an issue with a Realm Reborn. I enjoyed it. Again, it the only thing with the Realm Reborn is it got... It would be like, it would kind of ramp up a bit and then slow down and then ramp up and then slow down and then ramp up and then slow down. That was my only issue with it. Um, so log out, return to the title screen. I never played 1.0, so I can't say if it was good or not or anything like that. Um, so let's go to movies and titles. It'd be Endwalker demo and title. Let's do that. Let's watch the trailer. Let's see what let's see how it goes. Creative Business Unit 3. They're, they're, they're cut, like, their, their trailer team is amazing. Don't know if it's internal, if they, for, they farm it out, but man, it's so good. Stays hurt. Oh yeah, Paladin was your um was the class. this like HR Geiger looking stuff. Oh, did he say it? Oh, sorry. I, didn't. I thought he said creature. Land was but fleeting. The 
end draweth nigh. New place we could go to. Oh, cool. Until the heavens fall, until our last breath. The Tishol is awesome, that's why. Oh, he, yeah, okay, yeah, he is a Reaper, cool. armor is pretty awesome though that whole cutscene is amazing oh i love that okay that was cool i like that cutscene uh yeah that was awesome because just you just stole is awesome that's why you love the paladin because paladins are the best class ever that's why paladins are the best that a sword also screams hero yeah um, oh, you said it's from the the one of the first bu uh, brood, uh, Verta, Vertra. Okay, sorry about that. It's, uh, when when they do their cutscenes like that, it's, it's I always have trouble hearing what they're saying sometimes. My biggest issue. Oh my gosh, thirty five players in queue. That's quite a bit. Yeah, the game is. Uh, or sorry, the trailer was amazing. So clearly, the world is blowing up, and it's, we'll probably travel around to a different bunch of different places. Um, yeah, very excited to see. Big keepers over here. And then, um, so it looks like, uh, Alphano will become the sage. All right, sage, right? The healing class. Uh, Endwalker was the only expansion you did with the job in the trailer there, Revan. If I didn't already do a Paladin, I would do it, but uh, I already did a Paladin, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a Machinist, because that's the... I've already done a, a tank, I've done a ranged, uh, a magical DPS, I've done a uh, like close combat DPS, I've done a healer now, so I need to do a ranged DPS. Healer with lasers. Lasers. I want flying sharks with lasers on them. That's what I want. They don't really look sharp, sharkish, but they look cool. I did, I'm guessing, like, with that being your weapon, those, like, little, like, laser things, is that, when you get new weapons, those are what changes, right? Like, those look different? What level your machine is? Oh, gosh, like, 32 or something like that. I, I just started it the other day. Not 
Not even. It might still be like 31. Oh, no, it's still 30. I didn't even level up yet. <laughs> That's what. All right. Can't. There we go. I think that person was. Oh gosh, this isn't what I was thinking it was. Oh well, we're doing this, I guess. Oh, does this does it change every all oh, the time what it is? So I, it might not be the. Oh, no, that's bad. I'm not shooting you, bombs. No, the ceiling fan! Gate completed! Yay! Ah, uh, I was 20 points away from being like near perfect. Oh gosh, I got 3k for that. Three thousand points for that. All right, I thought maybe it would be the other one. Oh, but it'll change every time. Uh, we can do a dungeon real fast. Actually, I think I need to take off now. Sorry, I was just getting a phone call here, so I should probably, probably take off here. Um, but yeah, healing with laser. So yeah, next week we'll be doing um, Endwalker. Uh, yeah, my plan is to uh, get my machinist all ready to go there uh, for next week. Hopefully next next Friday should be fine. Um, yeah, Friday should be should be uh, a time for me to, 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 to stream. If I do stream before that, um, I might do something else just to make sure I get my machine. So I might have a stream where I'm just playing with my machinist or something like that. But the plan is to uh, next Friday start uh, Endwalker. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. The stream should be about, about noon um, like it normally is. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, 30 to 80 in a week is a tough task. I can do it to call. I can do it. Don't you worry. I have faith in my abilities to do that, and if I can't, then I will purchase the upgrade. What? Um, <laughs> did it once, I'll do it again. Uh, but anyways, uh, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. Uh, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for Endwalker. Super excited for Endwalker. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, until next time, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>